Hey, mini bash. It's the sixth day of July, 2018, and I'm, I don't know how I'm going to convey to you uh, this just unbelievable stuff. I mean, I really don't have words for it. The uh, only thing I can do is pray that the words come and show you what's been shown to me. So back to yesterday to begin with you know I saw this image and isn't it odd that Teresa Therese the harvester to reap to gather in that she is under the heel of the Colossus of the mother of harlots isn't that just unbelievably mocking Jesus that Satan is Satan essentially saying, I'm going to squish your head. It's like unbelievable stuff. And that's just to begin with, right? What happened this morning is I was actually already looking into some stuff about um, the Ark of the Covenant and Ron Wyatt and everything. And the reason I was was because of the date of the when he found the ark in Jerusalem until today is 13 331 days 36 years six months and a day and the reason that that is important to me is because back on Tammuz 17 uh, in 1313 BC I went over this this is when this is only a week ago okay from where we are right now so this is the the absolute time frame in reality of when this happened back in 1313 BC and all I did was take 1313 BC and add the 2018 to see how many years has it been since then and I came up with the 3331 which is pretty crazy in and of itself but if you put that next to the Ron Wyatt discovery and where it lands us today and tomorrow because this is including the day if I go to the seventh which is even more intriguing to me the six and seven are the 13 but the seven seven that's a whole nother story but it's just absolutely amazing to me the similarity here when we're talking about Ron Wyatt the discoverer of the Ark of the Covenant with the tables in it and we go back to Moses when he broke the tables that the hand of God wrote. And it's it, it's amazing to me, okay? So what to make of that? For me, I know that this ark and the blood of Christ are going to be revealed at some point. I just know it in my spirit. And of course, when I see stuff like this, it makes me think that that's pretty imminent. You know what I mean? So I see that this morning. I just saw it because it was still in my browser and it got me interested back in it again because this always interests me. It's just in me to to look into this stuff, you know. So we have that going on. Now I go back to my news and my work around the place, you know. I, I see this article this morning. This just came out. A couple of tourist boats capsized off of uh, Thailand. Very sad, but at least 33 are dead. Okay, so I see that. And of course, this is the system. But, you know, I can pretty much assure you that this really did happen. It's not easy to fake a couple of uh, cruise ships turning over. You know what I mean? So, anyway, and the boat was named the Phoenix. Okay, that's, you know, that's two for two right there. And not only that. They recovered 33 bodies, but there were 23 still missing. And you'll see how that plays in here in a second. It's just unbelievable. All right. The second boat was named Serenita, and there were 42 people Antichrist. Right. And, and believe it or not, it goes on. The, 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 it's everything will be linked. But this is just, you know, what is put right in front of my face this morning. So the 33, again, I'm kind of seeing this as a relationship to Jesus in one way, but also 
the the uh, the judgment and the chaos, you know, just three portions basically, you know, the ninety three. That's all, you know, dark magic stuff. But that, okay, so I see that because it's all about the blood, right? The twenty three that illustrates the half essentially. Would I'll just call it half of the world? That's like when the harvester comes. Like, remember from the article yesterday with the lady there, her name meant Harvester, right? When the Harvester comes, you know, they left the tares in until harvest time. And then they're going to separate the two. The 23 will be separated from the 46, meaning the chromosomes that we have, okay? That's the direct relationship to the blood, Okay, so I see that that does relate directly to the Ark and the blood of Christ and everything, all right? Then, <laughs> this is the real humdinger here. I see this article. Israel recovers hanged spy Eli Cohen's watch from Syria. A watch belonging to one of Israel's most famed spies who was caught and hanged in Syria has been recovered by the Mossad. Okay, this is just nuts, you guys. He provided Israel with Syrian state secrets and found, and he was hanged in Damascus in 1965. Okay, which in and of itself is 21, 9, 1, 10, 6, 5, 11, 21, 7, 7, 7. Okay, and the watch. Look at this. I'm sorry, but this is off the hook, right? We see where it keeps track of the day of the month here, right? But it's in the 3 position. So you have a 23 right there. The second hand directly across is at 46, okay? The time itself is at 631. Think about that. I mean, I had to like think about it myself for a few minutes, but what does that represent? The 613 commandments in the old law. What did Moses smash 3,331 years ago? What did Ron Wyatt? This is just absolutely crazy. And 613 in the Hebrew Strongs. Okay? Put in bonds. Prisoner. Prepare. Bind. Fast. Gird. Okay? A prisoner to the law, you could say. Who came to set us free? Jesus Christ. And he did that through his blood. Okay, because the blood bears witness. This is just absolutely crazy, you guys. And I'll link all this stuff. So I'm not, now I'm heavy into this stuff, okay? I go and I look and I want to see uh, with Ron Wyatt, okay? This is very interesting. He died at the age of 66 years old, all right? And look at the day... He was born June 2nd, 1933, okay? And I'll get into that after, but look at the day he died, August the 4th, 1999. Think about that. That is the day of who else's birthday? Our fine ex-president, Barack Obama. And we could get into this like crazy. 33 to 99, 66 years, okay? Think about that. And from the time of his death until this very day. Okay? I'm just saying, this is this is the way my brain works. 6,911 6, days. To me, it just represents the new... That's Satan. That Literally, the 69, it also is like the yin-yang. It's the world. The spiritual war. The, the thou shall bruise his head and heal, all that goes back to, it's absolutely insane. And I, I just personally don't have the depth of knowledge to articulate it to you directly through the scriptures and whatnot. But, I mean, I've read all this. It's so much in my heart. And I know that this is meaningful. I just do. But the exactitudes, I, I really don't know what to tell you. Other than this is crazy and it's leading us to something so imminent that you need to be in Christ so bad at this particular point in time 
there is no other way that you will even be able to begin to deal with what's coming on the earth. And your very soul depends on it. And that's not an exaggeration. So seek the truth of Jesus Christ. Look into the Bible and ask from a humble heart, a place of helplessness, essentially, as to what's this life all about? Because it's not unto us to know those answers. It's unto us to ask the God of the Bible through Jesus Christ what the answers are to those questions. So, you know, that's what I really want everybody to do is seek Jesus Christ in his truth through the word of God. Because it's the only way you're ever going to know any of this. So I had to absolutely had to share this stuff with you. The 613, the 631, the 2346. I mean, wow. So I'm just throwing it out there, you guys. So, you know, praise God. Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 